doing this one kind of over because I screwed up by not wearing this freaking yeah. stuff on my legs. Anyway, that was in the way. So, yes, you can use shoes as a training partner when it comes to doing basic throws. I wouldn't suggest it for grappling, but again, uh, some other martial arts did some pretty cool things on grappling. Like if you want to do it, like just a basic throw, like learning on your side, or a little more complex. where the shoes are and where your opponent could be where their feet would be it's not as good as a punching dummy of course so it's better for again idea of where someone will be. And how you can defend yourself against them depending upon where they're at. Their feet, basically. You stay, you'll, you'll know where they're standing. But that's why it's good for throws and whatnot. For punching and kicking, you're probably better. Yeah, punching and kicking, you're probably better off with having an actual punching dummy. But even that one, keto throw. Or other stuff throws. idea of where the opponent's feet will be at. And you can also measure where you're from if you stand where the shoes are for just a second you can gather the distance you need to be for when they're going to kick at you. Next move. Get an idea of where that kick could hit. And take them down from there. But of course, you'll be better off sparring with someone, but in case you don't have anyone available to you, you have the shoes to give you a general idea. could come from where they would be at, excuse me. When you get into more other, uh, yeah, people have put other uh, more easy training and when you're getting into actual grappling and whatnot when there's not someone available to grapple with. <sighs> but this can give you a general idea of where a person might be standing for that certain throws and certain holds.
might give you more advantageous way to work with. Distance, direction, and whatnot, or yeah, the shoes is basically the general consistency of where they can stand. Anyway, I'll give you a basic idea. Not great, but being honest here. It's not great for actual sparring. But again, instead of just doing shadow boxing, you have a general idea of where that person is. Where you can come at them and whatnot. But, in general, you are better off having someone else to work with. But you can tell. Where a person's at with that particular way of doing things. And what distance you need to get close to them or defend against them. It's not the greatest for anything else. Make sure that you know where it is, so you don't knock it over. But yeah, you have a general clue of how to throw someone with where their shoes are standing at. So it's not perfect, but you know, gets the job done. Okay. I probably keep both, both versions of me acting like an idiot with the freaking. <sighs> yeah. And the, the other one where my feet aren't sliding. Alright. Peace.